Well, we're standing on some potentially phenomenal ground here. When it comes to legal challenges against the infringements on the Second Amendment by certain states that just don't get it. I mean, they get it, they know what they're doing, but five, not one, not two, but five challenges to assault weapon bans in some states have been distributed by the Supreme Court for their May 16th conference. I'm gonna tell you the five cases, but first, I wanna give an opportunity for us to raise some money for the groups that are doing these cases, at least three of them. Uh, GOA, Second Amendment Foundation, Gun Owners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition. At Blackout Coffee, we send $2 for each one of those product lines. If you buy five bags of GOA, then we send $2 for each bag, 10 bucks, right back to them. K-Cups as well, whole bean or ground. And for right now, for a very short period of time, we're gonna give you 25% off of these three product lines so that you can get them for cheaper. We'll still make our full donation. And it's a way for us to help GOA, FPC, SAF for what they do for us in the Second Amendment. So head over to blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG and use code FREEDOM25. FREEDOM25 is not gonna last long, so jump on it while you can. It was something we just came up with as I was getting ready to come film. Uh, it's our way of helping. And we thank you for your support of Blackout Coffee, as well as SAF GOA FPC. So, five cases were distributed yesterday by the Supreme Court to be to, for their, their conference on May 16th. What is a conference? Well, the justices get together in a room, and they talk about cases, and they decide whether they're going to take them up or not. There are three different outcomes when a case is brought before the Supreme Court in a conference. They need four justices to agree to take up a case. That's called certiorari. These are all writs for certiorari. They're asking the Supreme Court to take up the case or their petitions for writ of certiorari. So one of three things will happen. Either the court will have four justices agree that they need to hear these cases and finally address assault weapon bans at the state level and they will issue a writ of certiorari. And in that case, in that scenario, whatever case they issue a writ to will be heard in the next term in the fall-ish. And that's the first outcome. That's the one we're hoping for. The second of the possible three outcomes is they issue a writ of certiorari, meaning we're going to take the case, but only for a short period of time, because then they, it's called GVR. They grant certiorari, then they vacate the previous court's decision, the lower court's decision, and they remand it back to them with certain instructions on how to fix whatever the Supreme Court said they did wrong. For instance, let's go back to the Bruin decision. Remember May, uh, May, it was June of 2022. I remember this like it was yesterday because I was at GunCon at Brownells. There's still a couple uh, tickets available if you're interested. I went live right then and there to tell you that this happened. And then right after they gave us the Bruin decision, the Supreme Court GVR, grant, grant the certiorari, vacated judgment, lower court, and remanded back to the lower courts, the cases, and those cases are still working their way through the Ninth Circuit. So we hope that does, I, I hope that doesn't happen. I'd rather them just hear the case. And then the third option is they deny to hear the case, and that's that. Sometimes they say why, but very rarely they do. And uh, those are the three options. So May 16th is the first time it'll be before the justices to to consider. I will say, just so those of you who will check back with me on the 16th, uh, sometimes they will have these cases pushed back to the next conference so they can actually consider more whether they want to take the case up or not. So here are the five cases, now that you know what the procedure is. Here are the five cases. Um, there's Harrell versus Raul, which is a challenge my Second Amendment Foundation and Firearms Policy Coalition lecture. Let me give you everybody uh, who's involved in each of these cases, so I don't, I don't want to like skip somebody. So it's Dane Harrell, the C4 Gun Store LLC, an Illinois company, Illinois company, uh, Marengo Guns Inc., the Illinois State Rifle Association, 
the Firearms Policy Coalition, and Second Amendment Foundation, suing Kwame Raoul, Raoul, however the hell he says his name, uh, challenging the assault weapon ban and the magazine ban in Illinois. Of these five cases, four of them are Illinois cases. So that lets you know that. The second one is Bianchi v. Frosch, which is now Bianchi v. Brown, I think. But uh, that's Maryland's assault weapon ban case. That's been around for a, a, for a minute. That is brought by Dominic Bianchi, who's an individual resident of Baltimore co uh, County, David Snope, an individual resident of Baltimore County, Micah Schaefer, an individual resident of Anne Arundel County, Field Traders LLC, Firearms Policy Coalition, Second Amendment Foundation, and the Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear Arms. That was filed against Brian Frosch, who is the Attorney General of Maryland, I believe his name is Brown now, but that is the assault weapon ban, mag ban in Maryland. The next case is Gun Owners of America versus Kwame Raul. Again, these cases all have to do with these states deciding after the Bruin decision on banning commonly owned firearms, which the court has said they can't do, and just in increasing limitations on the Second Amendment after, they're after they were given marching orders by the Supreme Court. Text, history, tradition, that's it, nothing else. Yet the lower courts are still doing their, their you know, hop, skip, and jump trying to get away with banning things because feelings, feelings should supersede rights. So the GOA case is the third one. The fourth case is uh, Javier Herrera versus Kwame Raul. And it's been a while since I read this case, but uh, Mr. Herrera is uh, uh, a medic and a SWAT member. And same thing, challenging the assault weapon ban and magazine ban in Illinois. And the last one is Barnett versus Raul. And that's Caleb Barnett, Brian Norman, Hoods, Guns, and More, Pro Gun and Indoor Range, and the National Shooting Sports Foundation, NSSF, versus Kwame Raul, the AG of Illinois, and Brendan Kelly, who is the director of the Illinois State Police. So th this could be very, very good. Now I wanna give you a quick quote by my buddy Adam Kraut, who is the executive director of the Second Amendment Foundation, and this is what he said after the Supreme Court said, we're gonna put these out for conference. Adam said, today the Supreme Court's docket reflected that both of our cases challenging Illinois and Maryland's ban on so-called assault weapons were distributed for conference. We are hopeful that the court will discuss these cases during their next conference in mid-May and ultimately grant cert so that millions of Americans can enjoy the same Second Amendment rights their counterparts do throughout the country. It is time for the Supreme Court to confirm that these modern firearms are in fact protected by the Second Amendment. Give you another quote from Alan Gottlieb, who is the executive vice president at SAF. He said, we're encouraged that these five cases, all essentially dealing with the same issue in two different federal court circuits, were distributed for Supreme Court conference at the same time. This could be the signal for which we have been waiting for, that the Supreme Court may be ready to consider cases challenging bans on the most popular firearm in America today and their magazines. These firearms are owned by millions of peaceable citizens, and because they are in common use, they certainly qualify for Second Amendment protection. Again, I want to go out again publicly and thank Gun Owners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition. I want you all to help us send money to them to help with these lawsuits at blackoutcoffee.com gng 25% off these items only, these three, well, bags or K-cups, whole bean, ground, and K-cup, with code FREEDOM25. Again, $2 of each item that you buy of these groups will be sent to those groups. So, thank you for your consideration and, and your support. I will let you know what the Supreme Court does with this conference on the 16th. You want to stay in the know, subscribe down below. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. Help me get to my goal for my birthday of 700,000 subscribers. My birthday is July 25th. I would like to smash it and maybe get to a million. Who knows? You know, because you can help by hitting that button down below. Like the video as well so it gets through that algorithm that YouTube has created. 
and uh, share it amongst your friends and family. Guys and gals, hope you have a great day. You are your own first responder. Never forget that. Nobody in the government will ever be by your side to save you when you need it. Trust me, it's never happened and it never will. You are your own first responder, which is one of the reasons we have the Second Amendment. Take care, y'all.